guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna go and play with the dog. Or without the dog. But the goal is with the dog. Today we're gonna go. Today. Today. Today we're gonna we're go <laughs> Today we're Kika, sit Yeah Today we're gonna go and play hide and seek with our dog So for this space your dog needs to know how to stay the command stay she needs to know and your dog needs to know his own name and it also needs to know and the come command and before doing this trick it's important that you and your dog are comfortable with the environment now if you don't if your dog doesn't know how to stay or doesn't know what its own name is i'll be making different videos about this in the future so if you want to stay up to date then be sure to subscribe so that you can stay tuned with my videos and that you can actually know what i'll be doing in the future and then in the end you can maybe later do this video which is gonna be a lot of fun because if you have a kid and a dog and they're both annoying. You just let them do hide and seek together and they are well off together for a very long time. Now, let's get into this video. So, for this session, you need some kind of reward. I'm using food rewards because Kika is a big fatty and she loves food. But you can also use toys, playtime, cuddles if your dog doesn't want to have food. Uh, you can use all kinds of that. Um, you can use a clicker, but you can also just use your voice as a reward, but that's optional and you just see what you prefer. I prefer my voice because Kika has not been trained to the clicker. So that's why we're using that. Now you can play this game alone with your dog, but you can also play it with yourself, the dog and someone else. So in this game, you will be the one who's gonna be hiding and the dog will be seeking you. It's kind of like a version of like a, a rescue dog. Rescue dogs also search people that are buried underneath the snow or are gone and buried underneath rubbish. It's kind of like a soft version of this. It's just hide and seek. And no lives depend on it, but <laughs> but it's still fun and important. And the dog is gonna use its nose and its ears and all its senses, so it'll be entertained for a very long time. And it's way better than having a bored dog because now they're actually using their intellect. So now we're going to the learning phase. How are you gonna teach this to your dog? So first, you'll just be showing your dog like you're putting the dog in a space. You're gonna walk away like out of sight maybe or inside it depends on how well your dog knows to stay command you're gonna call her over and give her or him maybe you have a him dog kick is a she so <laughs> i'll just say she now because i'm used to that you're just gonna give him a treat and then you're gonna walk back over like you're gonna put the dog back on that spot and this time you're gonna close the door so or close the door there's gonna be a tiny gap but make sure she doesn't see where you're going because they will follow you and then it's no fun so this time you close the door and you go stand away again and now you're gonna call the dog again and they have to open the door so this might take a little bit but some dogs just rush through and when they find you or come to you you just give them a treat again next time you're gonna put the dog back again close the door and you're gonna stand in a different room so the dog needs to know that you have changed position you're gonna call her over and she's gonna come to you again the time after that you're gonna actually start hiding so you're gonna be in a different room or the same room and you're gonna be like behind the door or behind the curtain and say come now that this time the dog will be a little, a little bit confused and if it takes a little bit too long for the dog to come you can just say come again so that she hears where you are and she'll be motivated again because there is a chance that your dog will be unmotivated because she doesn't know what's gonna happen now when your dog finds you you're gonna reward her hugely and you're gonna give her a big praise and lots of food well not lots of food you're just gonna give her a favorite treat or something again and then you're gonna put the dog back into her room again and this time you're gonna hide even harder like you go up the stairs or down the stairs or you go up the floor or you go outside i don't know and then you call her again and she's gonna search again and you can see that when the dog has a hard time finding her she's gonna go back to all the spots where you were before and she's gonna use her nose and sniff and she's gonna be really busy it's really fun to see for people who are sitting by the side that you see the dog really busy with something and when they don't know you're playing hide and seek it's like it's a dog doing but it's really fun and at the point where she finds you, you're gonna praise her a lot again and it's gonna be really fun for the dog and the kid. Now you can also do this on a different version. And you're gonna put the dog in the little room again. And then you're gonna hide, but you're not gonna call, because calling might be too easy for the dog at some point. But you're gonna let another person okay. say, okay. search, or in our case, zoek. Which means that the dog has to search for the person and it's kind of like the command to 
that she can go. And when she finds you, you give her a huge reward again. And the person that walks with the dog can also search and be like, hmm, where could she be? I don't know where she is. I could be searching. And I don't know where she is. So he's just going to pretend a bit. The dog, they will be valuable and the dog will love that the dog is not alone searching but he has a companion in the war of search. When you're done teaching your dog how to do hide and seek, um, you can start like only rewarding her for the hard ones or you can praise her a lot but then not give her a full reward so she stays motivated. But you can also start to go to different locations. So if you've been training inside this whole time, you could do outside. Or if your dog has been sitting on one spot the whole time, you can put her in a different room to wait for you. And you can maybe hide in that one room where she was waiting the whole time. Very unexpected, it's very hard to find. So when your dog loses interest too quickly or is searching and searching and searching and doesn't keep searching, but she's just like, eh, lay down and you're sitting somewhere in the corner. And you're like, eh, the dog is taking a long time. Then maybe you lost their interest. But you'll find out soon enough. But if your dog does lose interest and you notice or the person who's walking with the dog is signaling to you that the dog's losing interest, then you can maybe start making like some really tiny beep, 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 beep noises or whatever. You can imitate a cow or a cat or just a noise and the dog will be like, oh, oh, I heard that. And then they'll just run upstairs again or they'll just go somewhere where they heard the noise and then they're going to be enthusiastic again most of the time. Now, if you do these sessions too long or you play too many hide and seeks after each other, then that might also lose your dog's interest, but just do a couple of sessions, like three, four, five rounds or something, if your dog already knows the game. If she doesn't know the game, you might want to do a little bit less sessions. Um, and end it on a fun note. So if you are keeping, like, you have done a couple of sessions, there was lots of fun, just keep it fun and end it there. Don't end it when the dog is already bored of you, because then she is not very interested next time either, because she knows it's going to be boring and long. And who wants to be in a boring and long session with hide and seek? You don't. You don't want to stay in the corner waiting the whole time and waiting and nothing happening. It's not fun. You want it to be quick and going and the dog also wants so, anything else I have? Oh yeah, if your dog does not want to search for food, um, maybe increase the food value, so the treat reward. So if you have a treat and the dog's like, meh. But if this doesn't work, then maybe use a piece of actual chicken or something that smells really good or that your dog really loves. Kika will do anything for any type of food, so we don't have that problem. But if you have a picky dog, then maybe increase the food value or change the reward to from food to play or scratches something you know your dog loves because maybe the reward is not actually good enough now i hope you now learned how to play hide and seek with your dog i hope your kids will be entertained i hope you will be entertained and the dog will certainly be busy especially if you have one dog and most people who want to play hide and seek so lots of fun if you like this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll be seeing you again next time on my other dog videos bye bye oh wait kiki come so today I was joined by Kika, my Sheltie, and I'm Kelly from Compa, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!